So the first thing I want you to think about is when you hear Patriot Act is that we change the law and bureaucratic mindset to allow for the sharing of information. It's vital. When we're talking about chasing down terrorists, we're talking about getting a court order before we do so. It's important for our fellow citizens to understand when you think Patriot Act, constitutional guarantees are in place. We have every tool, is what I'm telling you, available for our people who I expect to do their jobs and you expect to do their jobs. The President has led a broad national effort to identify terrorist threats and prevent terrorist attacks in order to keep America secure. And the Patriot Act is a key weapon in the war on terror. Thank you, Governor. It's my pleasure to join you uh, this morning uh, in supporting President Bush, who, in my view, has done a magnificent job in confronting the danger of terrorism uh, and leading the nation through one of the most perilous times in our history. I'm here because I believe that the Patriot Act and the measures adopted in the Patriot Act are indispensable to protecting the nation against terrorist attacks. Keeping America safe is the President's preeminent and most important duty. Following the dreadful tragedy of September 11, 2001, President Bush addressed this challenge through the passage of the Patriot Act. I read in today's morning paper that Senator Kerry has begun a new ad campaign with a theme that states, a stronger America starts at home. Well, a stronger America does not start with the repeal and replacement of the Patriot Act. But I read somewhere that Senator Kerry uh, uh, says that he support 95% of the USA Patriot Act. That's similar to saying you're 95% not pregnant, because it is that 5% that is the vulnerability through which the terrorists uh, would exploit, just as they exploit the vulnerabilities of September 10th in order to wreak September 11th.